Oh my god! Oh my god! Here he is! Here he is! Yes! <laughs> oh, thank you, buddy. <laughs> thank you for coming out to play. Hey folks, how you doing? As you can see from the intro here, <laughs> we had a heck of a day. We managed to find a spot that had giant, like I mean some of the biggest, heaviest, darkest crabs I've ever seen in my life. Right next to some great striped bass rockfish if you're in Maryland. Just some great fishing and they were blasting top water. We had overcast skies throughout the day so the top water bites stayed on. But anyway, throughout this video, I'm gonna show you the action. I'm gonna pass on a lot of tips along the way, both for fishing and for crabbing. If you haven't already, please hit that like button for me. Helps out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you've missed it, make sure you go back to my video from last week, where that was my experience at the Amped Up Big Liz Snakehead and Bass Tournament. Had a blast there, check out that video. And I got a bunch more in the shoot for you. If you still wanna get out there and do some snakehead fishing, go and do it quickly. We just had a cold front come in that might put the bite on a bit of a damper, but it looks like next week we are going to have some warmer days, so that snakehead bite should hang on for a little while. We've had a little bit of warmer weather, and that should help us. Here's hoping. <laughs> but for right now, let's get to the video. So the first tip I have here for you folks is that these rock jetties and in general rock structure tight to shoreline can just be phenomenal for striped bass for rockfish especially in the fall when those bigger fish try to push those bait fish to the shallows and just start blasting them. May I tie start moving a little bit? Oh, there you are. Little guy. Little guy up in the shallows. Hey, little monster. Don't hook me now. One safety tip for Don't you folks, me, courtesy of Walleye Pete. When you're dealing with striped bass, a lot of times it's best to handle them by holding the plug, the lure itself. Because if you're holding the fish and it comes free, those treble hooks can end up in your hand really quickly. Yep. <laughs> That's my thing. <laughs> All right, run number one. There you are. Look at that. Look at that. God, it's a crab. <laughs> Look at that. That's a big crab. <laughs> That's another one that feels good. Yep. So another tip while you're out here, folks, when you're dealing with a lot of jellyfish in the water, it's great to wear long sleeves and gloves. Unless you just want to deal with the jellyfish stinks, man. It's up to you. Look at that. He's got a feeler. Yep. And we can throw some feeler on that point in there. Shit. <laughs> I hope I got your look on the camera, dude. <laughs> That's a light one. But it's a crab. <laughs> Don't nobody look over here. We ain't getting nothing. Nothing going on over here. That's three traps in a row. Yeah, dude. A sook, yeah. Now, if you're not familiar with the terminology, folks, a sook is a female crab. In Maryland, unless you're a commercial guy, you can't keep them. So be careful out there. Make sure that you identify whether it's a male or female before you add it to your basket. Only thing about sooks, when it comes to the middle of the crab and the mustard, I don't think it's as good as the males. Now, I've had both kinds of crab, male and female. For me, I think the males taste a little bit better. For the middle tastes better, the mustard tastes better. What do you think, man? <laughs> Let me know in the comment section. See if I can get that little guy out of here. <laughs> a, 
<laughs> that big bull was like, that's my woman. <laughs> He's mad as You can't keep her, dude. I'm, I'm, I hate to break this to you, but you can't keep her. So you gotta let her go. Gotta go mate and lay eggs. Yep. You know, these guys, I wonder how many people are going to ask you, where were you? Exactly, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you knucklehead. <laughs> we can get two bushels. Yeah, buddy. That would be sweet. That'll be our personal best for the trap. Yep. It's so much easier running this way. Oh, yeah, 100%, dude. Another useful tip here, folks, when you're running the traps, usually best to run against the tide, against the direction of the tide. It makes pulling those traps up much easier. There you go. There you go. There we go. Yeah, that's right. Come on. Come on. Yep. I don't see any I'm worried about measuring yet. <laughs> Yep, thought so. Another thing you want to be careful about here, when you're pulling these traps, you want to maintain constant pressure and you want to pull them up pretty darn quickly. The slower you pull it, the more you have a jerking motion to where you're pulling these traps, the better chance those crabs have of climbing that cage or swimming right out of it. And that's a terrible feeling seeing a crab get lost to the surface. Terrible feeling. Yep. Yep. <laughs> get in there. That dude was coming out for me, man. <laughs> Maybe the dirtiest, darkest crab I ever seen in my life. <laughs> now, if you're very new to crabbing, you might hear people talk about a dirty crab or a rusty bottom or a black bottom. When crabs have a fresh molt, you'll see them be very light in color but when they've been wearing that shell for a long time it gets dark and dirty and what that lets you really know is you have a full crab a crab that is full of meat and that's the kind you want there you go welcome welcome genus yep oh my god oh my god Holy! <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. That's a big crab. <laughs> That's the kind of crab you daydream about pulling up a crab so big that it actually startles you. You know? <laughs> That's a big crab. Nope. There we go. You're the first one. Finally, a baby. Yep. You safe down there, guy? <laughs> crabs in here snap your little snap. Yup. That feels better. That's a soot. Big ol' soot. I knew it. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. And that one, dude. <laughs> Feels pretty good. Don't get off. Don't get off. I, I, I think I have to keep a rock. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Nice fish. Get a landing bucket. <laughs> nah, that ain't gonna work. <laughs> I know. Tail grab it. There you are. There you are. Don't put him in the core or what? Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. I'm glad that was just the glove. Those treble hooks, man. That's why. Yeah, yeah, this glove, you All right, let's do this. Let's get you off. Hold you down. Take the hook out there. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God, I love a pencil popper, dude. God, I love a pencil popper. Now, a note on the retrieve that I was using for folks. I was twitching it in very quick succession between three and five times, letting it pause for just under a second and then continuing that twitch. Striper loved to chase down a fast moving bait. Oh, you got him? Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Monster crabs and keeper rock. I might need your help. Yeah, I got you, dude. All right, let's see what we're dealing with. I think she might be. I think it is. All right, I'm gonna grab the plug. Yeah, that mine's on the game. There she is. I already got hooked. I don't need no more. Close to You'll be close. You got a, a bump board or a measuring thing in here? No. We can use a crab measure just to get a good piece. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. That bottom marker is five and a half. I think, she's just, I think she's just short, dude. Yep. Let her go. Just short. Pretty fish, though. Thanks, little beauty. Jeebus. Here you are. Yup. Look at that! Look, good God! Dude, it's, it's the whole length of the tribe. Yeah, did, did you did you hear the sound it made when it hit the other crabs? It was like, it was like dropping a brick on him. <laughs> Look at that! Oh my God! This feels like maybe something. Yep. Yep. Love it. Yeah, dude. All they need now is a on them. <laughs> Trust me for ass, man. <laughs> I thought so. I'm glad to see this thing coming up. Exactly, dude. Dreamus! Dreamus! <laughs> <laughs> One other helpful point, folks, have a bin to sort your crabs as well as a bin, like a basket, to actually put in your full bushel. It'll really help you along the way. Look at that. Here, hold yourself for a minute. Look at that. <laughs> you took up the whole bottom of the crab, the whole length. Oh my god, dude. What a crab. The same thing like every time. It takes some event for me to really start zeroing in, like laser focus on them. <laughs> Up until then, I'm just like twitch, 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 pause, twitch, 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 pause. <laughs> oh, oil on my. Oh. Ah, oh, come on. That was a boil there. Get him. Oh, you. My hook's fouled. <laughs> come on, you missed it. You didn't feel hooks. Come on. <laughs> come on, come play again. Here he is. Here he is. Yes! <laughs> oh, thank you, buddy. <laughs> thank you for coming out to play. Oh, man. That was sweet. Oh, that was sweet. It is, dude. It is. Don't hook me. Don't hook me. <laughs> There you are, and there you go. Wherever you take me, you put me on fish, man. You let me know where, we, where we're going. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, got him, got him. Little Yeah, he is. <laughs> can ski his in here. Look at that vicious little He's <laughs> inside the Lord. Oh, man. Thought it was his brother having a fight with his sibling, man. <laughs> Get out of my room! <laughs> right. Oh yeah, yeah, buddy, that's a better fish. That's a better fish. That's a good one, dude. 
All right, let me get over here. I know, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna tail. I'm gonna tail him. Look at that, bro. Nice. Yeah, dude. There you go, dude. I know, dude. <laughs> oh, what do we got here? What do we got here? A yeah. big one. Oh, buddy. <laughs> I think I saw a boil, dude. On yours. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Got him. Yeah, you go. Yeah, dude. I was gonna say, I thought I saw a boil. <laughs> yeah, dude, no kidding. Had we known what we'd be in for, <laughs> we'd have brought all kinds of stuff. Yeah. There she is. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Had my butt cheeks all tight. <laughs> man. It is crazy though how fish will shut down just because the tide isn't moving. <laughs> I'm like, wait, wait, wait. Are you hungry or you're not? Because here's here's food. What do you mean? You mean a crab like that? Huh? I know. Like you're not you're not <laughs> you're not gonna eat just because just because the water's not moving. <laughs> so folks, I could have kept this going for a long time with all the crabs we pulled and fish we caught, but in the interest of time, <laughs> I think I'll cut it off here. What an incredible day on the water. Thanks again, Jamie. Always putting me on them, brother. Hey folks, thanks much for watching. Questions or comments, let me know. As I said earlier in the video, this is my buddy spot. I'm not gonna burn it. I love you guys, but I'm not gonna burn it. He worked hard to find this spot, and you know, I just, <laughs> I can't do that to him, man. I can't do it. But got some more great action at this particular site coming up in a video that's gonna be coming in the next week or two, including a true blue crab catch. It's like a once in a lifetime catch, man. Can't wait to show that to you. But hey folks, if you like what you've seen, please like, share, and subscribe, and y'all have a good one.